Hi everyone, welcome back to Dragon Finity. So today I'm showing you guys how to make salmon curry. So what you want to do, you want to get a spoon, and then you want to go ahead and start with your cumin seeds. But I've just got coconut oil on here. You can also use ghee or tallow or seed oils, but I don't use seed oils because it's super unhealthy. So um, I'm just going to put a bit of cumin in, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some mustard seeds in. Just about a teaspoon. And then just let that sort of cook on the oil and just let it pop. Okay. And you can also add some bay leaves. Um, I'm going to do that when I add the onions. So at this point, you can add the onions. I don't like to cook this too much because it can sort of overcook sometimes. And I don't want to do that. So. So I'll start with your onions and then just fry it off until golden brown and then you can add your ginger and garlic. Yeah. Okay, so once your onions look like this, then you can add your ginger and garlic. Um, if you're using like ginger paste or garlic paste, then you can add that later on because that's already kind of cooked. But I'm using fresh garlic and onions, so I mean garlic and ginger, so you want to add it now. Yeah. All right, you also want your onions looking like this. They can look brown. You can do it more, but I can't be after. So, we're gonna, we're gonna add your turmeric first. Or you can do it in any order, but I'll add your turmeric first. And don't add too much. I see a lot of people adding a lot of turmeric, and you don't need to do that. It's really strong. Um, so you only wanna add a little bit. Maybe that much. So you don't need to add lots of that, it's really. So when you add lots, it doesn't actually taste right. You might think that you're trying to make it all flavorful, but it's not, it just tastes like shit. So, now you want to add your chili powder. Now you want to do it according to how chili you like it. I like it medium chili, I don't like too much chili because it's just super bad for you and I'm super healthy. And then you want to add some coriander powder and this you can add more of because, you know, it's not, it's so like cute, it's about that much. You see, I'm not going overly crazy with the spices because you have to like do it accordingly. And then you want to add some salt, or actually a teaspoon. You can add that more at the end anyway. And then just mix it all up. Okay, make sure you lower the heat at this point because you don't want to burn the spices. I used to like adding water to it so it doesn't like to get burned. And it also makes it nicer, like, you see, it makes it nice and liquid. You just start mixing that all up, make sure you cook all the spices down, and yeah, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, you also have been letting the spices um, cook down for a bit. You don't have to do it too much because it's going to have to simmer for a while. So now you want to add some tomato puree. You can also add fresh tomatoes, but I like to use tomato puree because it's just a lot easier. Then just mix that all up. You can add some more water to this, which will help it sort of break down. And just make sure the tomato puree is cooked off. Even though it's tomato puree, you still need to cook off that sort of tomato -y taste because you don't want that. So yeah. Now at this point, you can add your tamarind. So tamarind, um, you can just use the seedless, you can use fresh. I like to use fresh because it's just a lot better. Um, how the hell do I get this out? There we are. You only need a little bit. You don't need a lot. Just like a little chunk. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so you don't need this much. You just need a little bit. Alrighty. Oh my gosh. There we are. Very, very hard. Oh, there we are. So you get a little bit and then just, because it's solid, you can just let it dissolve in. Alrighty. Alright, you also, once you've done sort of done with your foil, you can also add your um, salmon fillet. I use like um, the skinless wild salmon fillet. Now with the sauce, it's not fully like actually done, technically. Like it still needs a bit more cooking. But the thing is, when you're so you're gonna to have to soak this for like 45 minutes to an hour. So by the time that's like cooked, this will be fully cooked. You know what I mean? So 
Let's go ahead and open it. And it comes with four. One, two, three, four, yeah. So just peel these open and then pull them in. So let me just get the scissors. Oh, well, get the scissors. Gonna cut this open and then just pull them in. You can add this the little liquid that comes with it, because it'll just add more liquid and all some more flavour, that fishy taste, which is what you want. Okay? Also, also make sure these are defrosted. You don't want to make oh gosh. You don't want to make sure you don't want these to be frozen because if it's frozen, they're gonna cook at really weird rates. And I don't know how to do that. So make sure it's fully soaked. And then just let these go in there and then sort of kind of don't mix them around because they're actually going to break if you do that so you need to actually sort of leave it in for that you can add some more water as well because there's actually not enough water just really add the water and this will just help coat everything okay i should have done this before but oh well This way, everything's gonna be coated. And then add everything else. looking really really good so as you can see can you see the top bits are a bit pink oh wait let me zoom in a bit you see the top bits are a bit pink that's fine because what's going to happen is is that after about 15 to half an hour we're going to move it I mean flip it over 15 minutes we're going to flip it over and this is like a good consistency can you see it's like but you don't want to add too much water because too much water it's going to like um what it's gonna like dissolve all the flavour. So make sure you do that. And then you can cover it up. Make sure you cover it up and leave it on a low. I'm gonna leave it on five, um, which is gas mark three. And yeah, that's we'll leave that. Right. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes now and I've just left it to like this is what it looks like, you can see it's super cute. Lower the heat and bubbling a bit, maybe about one or two, yeah. I've got these little tongs and I'm just going to be using it to flip the salmon over so that it gets evenly coated. You see it's really nicely like curried. And then just flip that over. Flip. Oh gosh. Try not to break it because salmon is actually, it is one of the firmer fishes but it's not, when you cook it, it's actually pretty like, can't eat it quickly. So yeah. And then just put some like curry on top. And there you have it. And I just keep doing it. I'm gonna do this for like another I'm just gonna do this for like cover it and then let it keep cooking for another. I don't know. Alright, also it's been another 15 minutes, so it's been half an hour total. Um I think it's looking pretty good. I think maybe. Yeah, it's a bit soft still, so you don't want it to be too rubbery, but you don't want it to be too soft in a sense, you know what I mean? So maybe do another 15 minutes on the other side. Um, I think it'll be better, because I think it's still a bit undercooked. So, yeah. We're going to leave it for another 15 minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's been about another 15 minutes, so it's been 45 minutes in total of this cooking, and I think it's done, so I can actually turn it off. Um, what you want to do now is just leave it to, like, not simmer, but just, like, leave it in the hot pan, um, and then just turn these around, um, and then just leave it in there just to marinate, basically. Okay. Just turn that around. And this will just make sure that the inside salmon's fully cooked because you can just leave it 
copper by this. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.